Hello and welcome to more Banjo-Kazooie! Guys, listen to the sound effect of this platform. Nasty! Alright, let's go up here. So, now that we have the talent trot, we can make our way up this ramp, and we'll be met with our first door that has a note block. As you can see, there's a 50 on there, and then it flashes the note. That means we need 50 notes to get through that door. And because we got 100 in the last stage, we'll be just fine. Now, I don't think that it actually removes your notes. I don't think it takes away 50 of my notes. It just means I have to have at least 50 total throughout all of the stages that I've played. So, like, later on, I think there's only 900 notes in the game, but I think we'll have note doors that are, like, 800 plus. I think there might even be one that is 900 straight up, so I think getting all the notes is worthwhile, but... We'll see. I, I can't remember every little detail of the game. I haven't really played it since I was a kid, but we'll see how it goes. I don't think the later stages I'll know as well as I knew Mumble's Mountain. That was just a very easy stage. But here we have... Uh, what's your name? I forgot. Hello there, young ones. I'm Bruntilda, Gruntilda's nicer sister. Yes, indeed. Now, this character here, you'll see her several times throughout the game, and... She, as she just says there, she's going to tell us Gruntilda's secrets, and this will come in handy much later on. So press X if you'd like to hear them. Let's go ahead and hear those secrets. Grunty brushes her rotten teeth with salted slug-flavored toothpaste. Salted slug-flavored toothpaste. You guys need to remind me of that, because that will indeed be very relevant later on. But here we have another picture to fill in. This is, you can kind of read it at the bottom, it says Treasure Trove Co. And it needs two uh, jigsaw pieces, or jiggies. So let's put them in here. Come on, bottles. We already know, dude. Shut up! Let's fill it in. I always thought they were, were called jiggies, and I think they still are, but when I was in the, uh, the menu screen to select my file, it said I had 12 jigsaws. So I don't know if they're officially jiggies or jigsaws, but whatever. And this right here is something that we can't use yet, but it'll be relevant later. Some bottles of yellowness. You can't use that yet, you scrub. So, oh well. Let's just go up here and go into the stage we unlocked. Just, I think over this way. What, wait, where, where am I going? Hold on. Let's just let's just explore a little bit, guys. That is a big part of this game is exploring the overworld here. Or I guess Grintilda's lair. So let's do a little bit of that. It's all right. And aha! Here we wake up a cauldron. These are actually effectively warp zones. If we find the Second cauldron that connects to this one, well, he just explained it, but find two cauldrons of the same color and you can warp between them. That's all that matters. Ah, crud! Banjo, get up there! Now up here we also have another note door. This one is blocked off by 180, so we can't quite go through there yet. What is up here? I'm just gonna take my time and explore, guys. Might as well, right? I mean, we'll get to the next stage eventually, but we might as well look around and have a good time doing it. Uh, looks like there's not much we can do here. Ah, we could hit the switch, though. So that'll raise a platform. I don't think this is anywhere near the stage I just unlocked, so we will go back and do that. That is going to be the objective for today, is to play that stage, but... You know, sometimes exploring in games is fun, so let's do it. Hello, mister. Hooray! We killed you and got honey that we didn't need. Yeah, let's hit the switch as well. And that'll raise an extra platform to go up here. Now, I think that I am going to tease you guys and not actually go that way right now. I think we'll come back here at a later time, but let's actually go and find Treasure Trove Cove. And if we find that, maybe maybe it'll be relevant to go up here, though. Hmm. Yeah, let's go take a peek. Maybe I won't tease you guys like that. Ah, get up there. There we go. Oh, I'm just smashing my face for no reason. Aha, we have another thing with Brentilda, so I guess we're getting our second clue already. Grunty wears massive bloomers under that repulsive dress of hers. That's another thing we'll have to keep in mind. And here we're getting some red feathers, which we don't actually need right now. And that'll open up a little thing for us to swim through. So we will come back to there later. So for real this time, I'm actually going to go back and find the actual stage we're meant to do today. Hope you guys don't mind my little tangent exploring here, but I think that's what video games are all about, man. Just explore and have fun. It's not... You don't always have to get right to the point every little... You know, every little turn. Alright, let's go explore down here then. I think this is where the stage is. If it's not, I'll feel like a scrub. Aha, there it is. Alright, guys. But first, let's go check up here. Uh, just a little health thing. And a cannon. So, <laughs> let's just go inside the stage. Whoa! Just jump inside the giant treasure box and bam, we are right in. 
I gotta say, that's one of my favorite things about this game is the transitions. They just happen so fast, and they're... I don't know. They're just nice. I like them. Alright. Uh-oh. You can hear that music. That means we've got a gosh dang shark coming after us. I think his name is Muncher. I, I don't remember his name. I want him to go away so that I can get that Jinjo down there, though. Alright, there we go. Okay, let's get in there. Get him. There we go. Get away. Get away from me. Oh, okay. Someone actually gave me a tip. They said that if you press the right and left bumper while swimming, you can actually turn a lot faster. So I will try that out. I used it kind of briefly there, but not in any kind of way that you could readily see very super apparently. But I think the first thing I'm going to do is go over this way. I think I'll go up this... Well, let's get the stuff on top of these trees first, but I think I'm going to go up the sides of these little mountain things here. Let's climb up these boxes. I think there's some crud up here. Yeah! What up, bottles? So that little disc that we saw before, that little thing with the chicken foot on it, we can now use them, so we just got the move to do that. And it's the shock jump! So using that, we basically are just going to jump very, very high, and it's awesome. Now, there's actually one more thing that's going to get introduced in this stage that, if you've only played the uh, N64 version, you might have never seen before. And that is right over here. Let's just go do it right now. So this, for anyone who has heard of it, this is part of the stop and swap features. This was a huge controversy during the... Uh, just back in the day, there was a huge controversy with these stop and swap things. Basically, it was a feature that was intended to be added. I had, didn't really plan an explanation, so this was just kind of off the cuff, but... Essentially, they were going to have a feature where they would have stuff from this game connect to Banjo-Tooie. So you would collect these things in this game, and then because there was a... A swappable feature, it's basically, when you took a cartridge out of the N64, you would have like 30 seconds to add something else in, and the game's data would kind of stay on the system. So they were going to have a feature where you could transfer things over from this to Banjo-Tooie, but there were some hardware changes with the N64, and it made it so it was kind of impractical. But the, the stuff for stop and swap was still hidden in the game files, so people eventually dug it up and found it. However, with the Xbox version, they added it back in. So there we go, we just got the magenta egg there. And that will indeed carry over to Banjo-Tooie as well as Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. So, whenever I get to those games, probably sometime next year, that will be relevant. So there you go, guys. That is a very crude and brief explanation of a very, very interesting part of gaming history. I very much recommend you guys go and look some stuff up on that. Just look up the history of Stop and Swap or something like that and... There's a lot to find about it. It's really, it's very interesting to me. So let's go, I guess, grab some red feathers here. I'm seeing a dude over there just chilling. I'm not really wanting to go kill him, though. You know, let's go and actually try out some of these bounce pads. Yay! Now, one thing that's kind of funny, you can actually jump off the side like that and still go back up. But let's just run over here, grab some notes, and I think there's actually something we can do uh, with a sandcastle coming up pretty soon. So there's yet another disc, a red one, that we can't actually use. Aha, this is the guy I was looking for. I think we just have to poop some eggs into him, so let's do that. There's one, two, is that enough? Uh, oh, I thought I had to do three eggs in him, I guess it was just two. But doing that will lower the water and that'll let us get inside that sandcastle there. So let's go over there and do it. Uh, actually, you know what, first let me get all these notes that I'm missing. I'll come back for the ones on that tree a little bit later though. Let me grab these, and we'll deal with that big guy down there in a little bit. He is not on the agenda right now. And where is that sandcastle? I kind of lost it. Uh, there it is. So, okay, so we're going to go back to the sandcastle here. Whoa. Oh, can I get on top? Oh, crud. I need to get on top of there so I can get all those notes. Come on, Banjo. You can make it. Ooh, <laughs> no, dang it, dude. Wait, I wonder if it'd be better to jump with Talentron, actually, just because it... Go so fast. Oh, camera, please. Ah, man. I'll meet you guys back up top. Well, that was embarrassing. I should have just jumped from this spot, because that'll make it a lot easier. So I'll grab these notes. And now we can go back inside. Now, there's actually one thing about this. Once we get inside, you'll see that there's a bunch of letters on the floor. And what we're supposed to do is just spell out Banjo Kazooie. That's simple enough. However, there's actually a bunch of cheat codes in this game, and using these letters here is how you enter the cheat codes. So, there's a whole bunch of stuff, actually. But one thing to keep in mind is that this game has a feature where... <laughs> I say feature like it's a good thing. It's, it's a bad thing, but 
If you enter too many cheat codes, I think you can enter only three. After that, if you enter another one, the game will straight up delete your file. They do give you a warning beforehand, so it's not that big of a deal, but... As a kid, I remember I was doing a bunch of cheat codes, and they say, Blah blah blah, we're going to delete your file if you enter another code, and... I thought they were bluffing, so I did it, and then I lost my file. And I was not just, like, only at this point in the game, I was actually pretty far. I think I almost had the game completed, and they deleted my file, so that was a huge bummer. I still eventually went back and beat the game, but... Yeah, that was... that was not a good time. Let's get that guy killed off. Took him four hits just to take him down, though. Jeez. There we go. Got us a Jiggy. As you can see, this level's going by a lot slower than the last one. Just barely got our first Jiggy. That is because the levels are going to start getting much, much larger. And they get pretty dang crazy eventually. I think this, this stage is still short enough that I can probably do it all in one episode. It'll just be a long episode. But in future stages, I'll probably start splitting them up into two parts just to... Make it so they're not like 40 minutes long. I'm sure there's a few of you out there who would love 40 minute videos, but I don't know if I am up to sitting down and playing for that long at once. I mean, I love the game, but I don't know why, but after I talk for too long, my, my throat gets sore. Maybe it's because I yell too much. I don't know. But all right, we got some gold treasure there. Let's get back out. I saw another piece of gold treasure on the other side. Oh, gosh dang it. I'm not very good with the swimming controls, as you guys can see. I don't think they're particularly bad or anything, but they do take a little bit of getting used to. That was loud as crud. Alright, so let's go up here. We got a guy that's crying. And I'll just go ahead and tell you guys that gold we found, he's crying because he lost it. So we just have to go find those gold patches and we'll give it back to him. Let's go talk to Bottles. And as you can probably expect, it'll activate that red switch back there. This is your big chance, chicken legs. It's time for you to fly. At last, it better be easy. So, kind of similar to the green pads, you just stand on top of it, press A, and this one will make you fly. So that'll be very useful for many stages, especially in this one, as you can expect they introduce a mechanic, and they'll have you use it right away. Alright, so we got a bunch of notes there. Now, to get that second piece of treasure, we actually have to break this little spot right there. So let's drop on in. I think there's only the two pieces of treasure, so I guess we'll get that. I don't know why he doesn't just go down and get it himself. He's kind of a hippo, and they're known for swimming, so... I don't know. Just... just accept it, guys. Let's get the shaman token. I don't think that there's actually a mumbo in this stage, so... The tokens will just carry over to the next stage. And... got it. That was really slow swimming. But, whatever. Oof! Man, getting up out of the water is so loud. I don't know if it shows up as really loud on the recording, but dang. There we go! And that should give us a jiggy, I think. And, of course, he has to sound like burping when he talks. Very classy game. Hey! So you go take your gold, and I'll take this gold. Fantastic. I think there was actually a mumbo token underneath the little the mast at the, in the center, so let's go up and see if I can get that. Or can I just climb it? Hold on. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Let's go up and get that. Let's see. I guess I'll go deal with these green pads here now. I'm going to have to climb up these boxes to get back up there, but there is a lot of notes up there, so I think that'll be a good way to go. Hmm. Actually, there's just a three. Oh, but there's a ginger over there, too, so that's cool. Let's go ahead and do this first, and then we'll go back to that red pad and actually get some fly action going. Okay, so we got that. And let's see. I guess I'll go to the side here first. I think that'll make things easier. Oh, I see one of the empty honeycombs in the background there, too. And... Ooh, barely made that, all right. I think I actually have to go up here later, so I probably should have waited and done this at a later time, but oh well. I do see a Jiggy up there, guys, with the, the bounce pad, so let's go get that. I'm kind of <laughs> being very cautious here so I don't fall. All right, so let's actually go use these jump pads to get that Jiggy up there. Can I make that? Ooh, got it, nice, all right. And up here as well. I didn't actually need to use that one, I tried not to, but oh crud. Oh, dang it. I'm gonna make it this time. Not gonna get stuck under the bottom. There we go. Okay, so let's actually go up and get that Jiggy. That kind of sucked. I got stuck underneath there. And then I actually, went, on my way back, I fell again, just so you guys know. Of course, I edited that out, but... Whoops. It's all right. We got that Jiggy here, so that puts us up to three for the stage. And I think they said there's ten per stage, right? So we're, we're gonna be here for a little bit longer, but a lot of these are gonna all come together at the same time, so I don't think it'll be too bad. 
This might be a lot around like a 25 or 30 minute video, especially because of all of the exploration I did outside, but I think it'll be, I think it'll be fine. Let's go around here and get these notes as well. I think that I'm getting pretty close to getting all of them. Yeah, there's 34 more to get here, so we're pretty much two-thirds done here. Let's see, what is at the top of this one? Right, this is the X marks the spot thing, so this will come in very handy. Do I want to use the fly pad? Uh, I think there's enough stuff down here that I actually don't want to use that. Please land on that. Oh, cool. I don't want to land in the water because I don't have to deal with the, the muncher guy. Actually, I think I need a heal, don't I? Let's grab that. Uh, yep. There we go. Heals are always nice. And inside here, we're going to have two mumbo tokens. There we go. Oh, crud. Was there something down there? I see an egg down there, so maybe I'll have to go there at some point. Let's grab these notes first. I think there's something inside the water. Ah, just another jiggy, but we gotta dodge this guy. Or just get exploded by him and almost die. That is wonderful. But again, if I die on the Xbox version, not a huge deal. If I died on the N64 version, I would have to collect all of the notes again. I think you do keep the jiggies, but those notes, man, I'd have to get all of them again. Okay, there's the second X marks the spot over there. Let's grab this guy, that's our third Jinjo. Just making sure I don't miss anything on the top. Uh, looks like there's a one-up over there, so I will grab that. I also saw some platforms at the bottom to jump on. There's just so much stuff in this game. That's part of what I love about it. There's just always something to do. Alright, let me grab those healths for sure. Oh, jeez, get away from me, Krabby. Oh, speaking of Krabby, dude, uh, my girlfriend and I were just watching Pokemon, and we, we finally finished Season 1, but we watched the Pokemon League episodes. If I could grab the note, it'd be great. There we go. Anyways, we were watching the Pokemon League episodes from the first season, and I don't know why, but I just found it so strange that Ash just like randomly picked his Krabby that he caught in like 70 episodes before then, and his Krabby just wrecks everything and then evolves. So spoilers if you haven't seen that, I'm sorry, but gosh dang, Krabby wrecks everything, man. Okay, so we got the Mumbo token. We're up to five again, so that's cool. Uh, I will go hit that. Let's go hit it right now, actually. Now, I think one of the things I want to find is actually right down there. I think there's a empty honeycomb piece. So let's go grab that. Ooh. Go down. Go down faster. Oh, got it. Okay. Stay away from me, mister. I don't think he'll... Yeah, he won't outswim you. So once you get a, a good rhythm of swimming here, you're, you're going to be fine. Now this guy, I don't actually remember how to deal with him, but let's try and figure that out. Do I just peck at him? That didn't work at all. Hey, this Nipper's Beach, you find nothing without Nipper's help. Uh, I think I'm gonna wreck you, bro. He just called you a cheeky bird, how do you feel about that? Whoa, Shellhead! They are going in on each other. Oh, there's a token back here, let's go grab it. Sorry, bro, I'll fight you in a second, I, this is more important. Alright, how do I actually fight this guy? Uh, that didn't work. Oh, jeez, I don't think I want to fight him, dude. I, I'm gonna die. Well, let me go kill these enemies over here and try to get some health back. Oh, jeez, they take two hits just to kill one of these guys. Man, I'll, I'll come back to Nipper. He'll be like the last thing I do for this stage, because he's tough, man. Is there anything in there? Just some eggs I don't need. So let's grab these notes on this tree, then let's go flying, guys. There's a lot of stuff we can still do in the air. If I could stop sucking at walking on trees, that'd be great. Ow! Banjo! Thank you. I can't even blame Banjo for that, guys. It's, it's my fault. Alright, so let's go up and get this red pad. I saw a health in the background, but I guess I'll get that later. So this is how flying works. Uh, actually, I want to go to this side first, because I believe there's a jiggy over here. You can press A to use one of your feathers to get some height there with though, which is nice. Ah, if I could... Dang it, man, I died. I don't know how to get inside there without getting hit. And my foot is completely asleep right now. Oh my gosh, it is like way asleep. I just saw right there that we happen to have the green Jinjo. Whoops, kind of missed that before, but maybe it's a good thing I died because I probably would not have seen him. I know exactly where the yellow one is, so we'll find that in a minute. Open. Oh, dang it, dude. I'm trying to, like, be efficient at everything here. Now, I I don't know how to get in there, man, without getting hit. Maybe a backflip is the only way. Oh, my foot's waking up. That is very unpleasant. Okay, so we got that jiggy. Oh, I hate the feeling of your foot waking up, man. Why can't you just stay asleep? 
All right, so let's go back and fly again, because we have more places to go. Oh my gosh, this is very unpleasant, guys. I'm in a lot of discomfort. Is there another shaman token? Wow, there's a lot of those guys. I guess I'll have to go back for that. As I, I don't remember if I mentioned this in the video. I probably did, but I won't necessarily get all of the shaman tokens because they don't actually get tracked on your status screen or anything like that. The only use they have is getting transformations, so my only goal is to get enough of them to get all the transformations. Beyond that point, I don't really care if I miss them, but I'm not going to like see one and then not go for it, you know? It's just more of if I happen to miss one. Whoops. All right, so there's the Elegincho. We'll go down for him in just a minute, but first let's climb up this little platform here. I think I'm just going to take the long way around. Actually, you know what? Let's let's go grab him. He's right there. And I'll just edit back up there, I guess. But this is the last one for the stage, so that'll give us the Jiggy! Hooray, Banjo and Kazooie! I like to imagine that the Jiggies are actually chocolate coins covered in, uh, or chocolate puzzle pieces covered in golden foil or something. Because then I can just be like, yo, Kazooie's just nomming on some chocolate right there, but I guess then you have to ask, is chocolate dangerous to birds? I mean, I've heard it's dangerous to dogs, I don't know about birds. But here we have the Grunty's Lair switch for this stage, and that will shoot a Jiggy right out that cannon we saw before we went to the stage. Nice! Alright, let's break down this door if we can. Uh, can we break it? Got it! And inside we'll get a Shaman token, and we actually get to enter it. Get a bunch of notes, as well as a Jiggy up here. Only six notes to go, guys. We are almost done with this stage. All these Jiggies, as I mentioned, are going to start coming together pretty much all at the same time. So here we get up to number seven. We just have three left. One is going to be that X marks the spot thing. One will be that nipper fight there. And the last one I actually don't know. But I think I am going to go down here. I've got a couple Shaman Tokens I'd actually like to find. Ow, crud! So let's go grab a couple Shaman Tokens, guys, and then we'll get back to our usual business. So I almost died again. Hopefully I don't get killed here. Gonna have to dodge the, the munchy guy. Come on, don't hit me. At least let me get this before you kill me, bro. Okay, got that. And I guess I'll meet you guys at the jump pad to get the other one, and try not to die. I'm dead. I'll meet you guys at the jump pad. Here it is, and let's get that token. Now, I need to mention, guys, that if you die like that in the N64 version, you are screwed. So, it's pretty much a very good thing I decided to pick this version, because clearly I am terrible at staying alive. I mean, I know where a lot of the stuff is. That's great. Staying alive, not my strong suit. So, we're almost at the point where we have to deal with Nipper. I'm gonna go find that extra, or that next red X that we were looking for, guys. And I'll meet you there, because I think we've already seen it on camera. Alright, because I died, it actually reset, so I have to go back to the first one. I think I hit two of them on camera, so I guess I'll meet you guys at the, the third one? I think that'll be fun. I just realized you can actually see up Banjo's pants, and it's just invisible. That, that is weird looking. Okay, so here's the X we need to be at. There's some way that you can quickly fly across a large portion of the stage, but I forget what button it is, guys. So, eventually we'll figure that out. If you guys know what I'm talking about, the, like, rush attack or whatever it is, let me know how to do that. I think it might be, like, right trigger or something. Nope! That just... Oh, great. I would really appreciate it if you guys just all pretend that never happened. Okay, thanks. I'll just, uh, carry on here. I think this is the last one, actually. I know, wait, 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 there's one more, but... This is kind of the last one. This is the last big one. So let's go hit that. Hopefully not get killed by that crab there. Watch out, mister! I'm gonna ground pound! Oh, get wrecked! And I missed the X somehow. There we go, so that one's gonna have a question mark. But down here, we have the, the giant X! Let me kill this guy off first just to get him out of my way. And then we'll hit this. And what that'll do is spawn a treasure chest for us to break. I think I have to either hit it. Maybe I have to shoot it, actually. Oh, not trying to do that. Shoot your eggs! There you go, and BAM! We're gonna get... If I can actually pick it up. I think that's the eighth Jiggy, so let's... Next, let's go and get that second empty honeycomb piece. Then all we have left to do is Nipper and... Gosh, what was the last one? I don't remember what the last one is, but we'll, we'll figure it out. We just got another Mumbo token. Go away, Muncher. Or Snacker, his name's Snacker. I've been calling him Muncher this whole time, but that's the wrong name. Oh, whew. Okay, I guess I'll meet you guys over at Nipper. We're finally gonna fight him. All right, guys, round two with Nipper. I think what we have to do is wait for him to stop attacking. Then we go in for the hit. There you go. So that's all you gotta do. Wait for him to stop clap clapping, and then go in. I think he's only gonna take three hits. And there you go. That's a very very easy boss fight. <laughs> this game actually doesn't have that many boss fights I, that I can think of. However, of course, we'll eventually battle Grunty, and she's she's pretty fun to fight, but. 
as far as just like regular bosses, I think that stuff like Nipper there is pretty much all there is. There we are, we're up to 100 notes. We have a couple crabs to fight here. And bam, we actually get our ninth Jiggy, so we have one more to get. And I guess I'll just have to go track it down because I can't remember the exact location. Like I said, I don't have every detail of this game memorized, but let's go find it. All right, the last Jiggy is actually going to be down here on those platforms we saw before, guys. If I can get over there, that'd be great. Aha, there it is, guys. So that is the last Jiggy for this stage. I guess let's go back outside, get that uh, get that Jiggy from the the cannon that, from the Gruntillus, which we hit, and we'll call it a day. Now, one thing about this game, though, is... I don't think there's actually an exit stage button. Now, there's only an exit game button, so what we have to do is go back to the start of the stage, and that will let us out. So I'll just meet you guys there. All right, so we're back out of the stage here, and let's go and get that last Jiggy. Not get killed by crabs. As you can see, my life counter is down to three. Kind of got hit a lot. I don't know why, but today I've not been doing so good at dodging attacks. Let me get these just to heal up, because I kind of just got wrecked by that crab. And I don't think I even had to go on this side. I think rather I have to go up on this cannon here. And not like that. We got to do more backflips. This crab is the biggest jerk ever. I don't know why I didn't just kill him. Okay, so we're up there. And backflip once more. And there we go, guys. That is going to be the last Jiggy for the day. So from this point on, as you can see, this episode was quite long. I think from this point on, I am going to be splitting the stages into two parts. So actually, I might even split this one into two parts. Hello if you see this on the next day, but if not... Um, whatever. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.